Yerba Buena district is a crossroads of the city with many different populations coming through for every reason. I came here to work at Taco in January 1978. At the time, this district was like the city's tenderloin today. As approved in the 1960s, the city decided to build a convention center in this district. It required, of course, demolishing everything that was here. We're talking about over a dozen large South of Marcus city blocks. And there were at least 4,000 people living here at the time. The leaders of that era were Mayor Aliotto, who championed a redevelopment project. And it led to extensive litigation, both by TACO's founders and opponents of the convention center, who had other issues as well. The outcome was a stalemate. Nothing got built. And so in the 1970s, when George Moscone was elected mayor, a top priority for him was to break the stalemate, resolve these issues, and set a new course for Yerba Buena that was a consensus outcome that reflected the needs and goals of many more than just a convention center. And it succeeded. Yerba Buena Gardens was the centerpiece of that grand compromise. There's multiple realities to the Yerba Buena district. As an outcome of the original redevelopment plan, there is, of course, the Moscone Convention Center, the entire complex of the city's convention industry, tourist industry, many hotels, and that was the original plan. The second thing that was brought into the project as an outcome of the controversy in the 1970s was to include a dramatic center of recreation and culture for the entire city. The third was to also make it a real neighborhood. The fact that there is an outcome of eight senior residences with over 2,000 elders living here meant that we needed a neighborhood, not just a downtown convention and culture district. And so in 1980, TOTCO asked for a city and redevelopment support for a neighborhood plan about how to build a neighborhood. The key elements of that were to have more housing and to add the basic elements that a neighborhood needs to retail the community services, the everyday life of a neighborhood as well. Getting all these things built was difficult. The key question always was how to pay for them, but the real on HC over the course of time solved those problems one by one. It was Mayor Agnos who finalized financing for the gardens as we see it today. It was finally Mayor Brown that got to finish the job 12 years later. The key was the Marriott Hotel. It provides, as a ground lease payment, $6 million a year to support Yerba Buena Gardens, without which it, it simply couldn't run at all. Just 10 years ago, when Gavin Newsom was mayor, the final thing the agency assisted with was to set up the Community Benefit District that now provides services for the entire neighborhood to keep it clean and safe. The bottom line of the entire neighborhood and district is that everybody comes here. That was the vision of Mayor Moscone and his community supporters. They wanted it to be a complete neighborhood, a citywide center for culture and recreation. They wanted it to be a place that all San Franciscans will want to come. Living near Buena, among many things, is a never-ending construction project. Whether it's adding more space to the Moscone Center, building a new subway station, building another hotel, or changing the streets and building bike lanes or adding pedestrian improvements, it just seems that construction never stops. Come to realize that it is much, much harder to build a neighborhood than a building. Buildings are straightforward, whereas building a neighborhood necessitates working with different people from all kinds of backgrounds, all kinds of circumstances, who are here for different reasons. Without Todco, the Yerba Buena district wouldn't really be much of a neighborhood. You have to put together the human connections, and you can't ever stop, because the people keep changing, the circumstances keep changing. And so you just have to uh, keep it up uh, uh, literally every day uh, for decades.
What would they say it was like working with you? Well, which ones? The ones I fight or the ones I work with? 